This is IPN, the Daily English News Broadcasting Service brought to you by Compress Network today. Saturday, 14 of January 2017. For me, your daily host, Sajid Jalal, saying, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Headlines from IPN by Health of RV News. This place where kind Muslim women share their shocking stories. Myanmar, Bangladesh agreed to start talk on Rohingya refugees. Myanmar government makes baseless, slanderous allegations against Mr. Ronesan Wing and the Rohingya blogger news, Rohingya blogger statement. The details are as follows. Bangladesh mount pressure on Myanmar to take back their nationals, keeping themselves confined to a tiny room with no light inside. Two young Rakhine Muslim women were struggling to get rid of the trauma and forget the brutality they had gone through. They remained speechless for minutes, seeing the presence of a newsman at Kutupalang refugee camp in Ukia later. They revealed the horrors of repressal, rape and burning people in houses. We were asked to get undressed and look up at the sun. We were left naked with no food and water before being gang raped by Myanmar forces. Osni Era, not her real name. A 25-year-old Myanmar national told UNV narrated the horrible torture perpetrated on her and her relatives. Hosnera, hailing from Garifurang village from Myanmar side, said her husband Sunamiya and her son Ibrahim got confined to their house when Myanmar forces put their house on fire. <laughs> Myanmar has agreed to begin talks with Bangladesh over an estimated 65,000 Rohingya Muslims who have fled Myanmar's not Western kind state since attack on on borders was three mo months ago, a senior Myanmar official said on Thursday. Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi dispatched a special envoy to Dhaka this week in a thaw in the troubled relation between the neighbors who each see the stateless Rohingya as the other's problem. Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina told Sushi's Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Charting. On what is that Myanmar must accept back all Myanmar nationals in Bangladesh, the Bangladeshi Premier spokesman said. ASU Director General of Myanmar's Foreign Affairs Ministry said that two countries would start discussion on an identification and verification process. If they find they are from Myanmar, they will be repatriated and the, at the appropriate time, she said, adding there was no timeline for the talk. The agreement marks a real bright spot in the two countries' bilateral relations, which are complicated by as many as 500,000 Rohingyas living in Bangladesh after fleeing decades of persecution in Myanmar. Rohingya blogger news group is deeply disturbed by Myanmar government's slanderous and baseless allegation against its coverage of the crimes of the Myanmar security forces against the Rohingya people in the last few weeks. We are a group of honest citizen journalists based in the Rohingya, Rohingya diaspora as well as on the ground inside the predominantly Rohingya region of North Rakhine in Western Myanmar, Burma. Myanmar State Council Aung San Suu Kyi's Information Committee and the Commander in Chief's Office are both officially behind this deplorable official propaganda designed to destroy our credibility with the international news agencies which consult with and rely upon our local expertise for the de for in-depth knowledge of the decades-long genocide crimes committed by Myanmar government against the Rohingya community. Myanmar government falsely accused us of fabricating incidents that we claimed took place in the Godutaya village track in southern Mongo township, Rokhine state, on the 7th and 8th of January 2017. This attack on the integrity of the Rohingya blogger first appeared on the Facebook page run by Myanmar military's commander in chief's office. 
We fully stand by our reporting about Myanmar troops committing sexual violence against starting Rohingya women and girls that took place at the Kodutaya. As a matter of fact, besides speaking to the rape victims and our eyewitnesses, Rohingya blogger news group has verified the initial account of rape, robbery, arrest, and torture of Rohingya villagers by Myanmar troops. So this is enough for today from APN English News Service. Thank you for watching our APN News and please stay tuned for more of this. There are still to come up next in every day as, as well. Please share and tag us by through the Facebook. Subscribe us on YouTube. If you like our APN, please visit for more updates.